Welcome, in front of me I have Huawei Watch Fit 4 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to download and install the Huawei Health application. And this part is a bit tricky because first we need to download the uh, Huawei App Gallery and then use the Huawei App Gallery to download the Huawei Health because there is no Huawei Health application on the Play Store and if there is one, it's outdated and it won't work probably. So uh, let's continue with the download of the Huawei App Gallery. To do it, you will need to open some kind of browser on your phone, web browser. I'm gonna use Google Chrome, but you can use anything else you like. And in the browser, you need to tap on search and type in uh, Huawei, oh no, not Huawei, my bad. App Gallery dot Huawei uh, not like this that huawei.com and you need, uh, once you enter this address tap on search and it should bring you to the uh, page with the app gallery basically this page and on this page look for this button right here in the top left corner the download button tap on it tap on install app gallery and the browser will start downloading the file and once it's done you will see the pop-up that the file was downloaded and you can tap on open so tap on it and if you don't have the required permission for the uh, Chrome to start installing or for the browser to start installing the file, you will need to tap on settings here, tap on the switch to allow from the source and you will see the pop-up about the installation. Tap on install and then once it's done installing you can tap on open to open the app. Now tap on next, agree Okay. Okay. And you should see the uh, app gallery now. You can allow or deny the permission for the notifications. And here we have the main page of the gallery. Now let's tap on apps, tap on search, and type in Huawei Health. and then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Huawei Health. You can tap on the install button next to it. Oh, I missed it, so I'm gonna tap on install here. Then if you see this pop up on the screen, tap on settings, tap on the switch uh, to allow the installation from that source. Go back by tapping on the back button, tap on install again. It will start downloading the app and let's wait until it's uh, done downloading. Then we need to tap on install uh, to install it here and once the application is done installing you will see the open button and you can tap on it to open the Huawei Health app and here we are in the uh, Huawei Health application and we need to select the service region you can tap right here scroll through the list and look for something you like I'm gonna select the United Kingdom and then tap next next agree and we should uh, be in the app now. I'm gonna allow the permission. You can deny them if you want, but if you want to use the features like health, stats and stuff like that, allow the health permission. Uh, if you care about notifications from the app, allow them. If you don't care, you can deny them. Okay, so we, we are in the app. Now I'm gonna turn on our watch. So press and hold the crown button. Oh, the watch is already turned on. Okay, uh, so if you turn on the watch, can I go back here? Looks like I can't for some reason. What if I select language option? Okay, so basically that's how it looks like when you turn on the watch and it's not paired with anything. You will see the list of languages on the screen. And now select the language you like by tapping on it. And once you select the language, it will tell you to download the Huawei Health application and use it to pair the devices together. So basically the watch is in the pairing mode. That's how it looks like. Now we can go to our app, tap on devices, tap on add device, allow the required permission, it will start scanning for the nearby devices and it should detect our Huawei watch fit or tap on connect next to it and if you're not logged in yet it will ask you to log in into Huawei ID account so let me log in
Okay, and now I need to uh, provide the code from the email address. So we're gonna tap on get code and wait for the email with the code. So give me another few seconds. Okay, we got our code. Now I'm gonna copy it and then we're gonna paste it right here. And then we can tap on OK to log in. And after you log in, the app will restart, I believe. Yep. And after it restarts, tap on devices again. Tap on add device oh, here. Wait until it's done looking for the devices. Tap on connect next to Huawei Watch Fit 4. And then uh, wait for the pop up on the watch. I believe it will pop up with the confirmation prompt. At least it should. For some reason, uh, we need to authorize app for the access to our device. So tap on go authorize. Oh, we need to allow more permissions. Okay, let's allow them. And now it's connecting. Tap on the check mark to confirm. Allow ordinary the option to uh, access contacts. Oh, it disappeared now. But basically, you could allow the contact, uh, allow uh, access to contacts, which would allow you to uh, uh, see the contact list on your watch and also try to call uh, contacts from your, uh, or start the call uh, from your watch and stuff like that. Okay, we can check the box and tap on next here. Okay, and here you can check the boxes to download the updates automatically over Wi-Fi or you can uncheck them if you want to install updates manually. So select it according to your preferences, then tap on continue. Uh, and here, if you see this page, tap on done, continue. And right here we can enable the phone notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. So if you want to use them, enable them. As you can see by default they're enabled, uh, but uh, maybe in your case they're disabled. So if you want to enable them or if you want to disable them, you can also disable them as well. And once you enable the notifications, you'll be able to customize from which apps you want to receive the notifications on your watch. So for example, let's say you want to receive notifications from Discord, you will need to enable it to see them on your watch. If you disable it, they will only pop up on your uh, phone. Not, they won't pop up on your watch. So customize it to your liking. And once you're done, tap on done. Okay. Allow order ID permission for the location. And here I'm gonna skip this. Allow the permission. Tap on OK, and the watch should be on the device page. And now if you wake up the screen on your watch, you will have the tutorial how to use it. And after the tutorial, you should see uh, the uh, watch face, which means that the watch is paired with a phone. And that's how you pair uh, this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video. Thank you.